Uh, so here's my time to shine. Uh, so I was born in Lena, Illinois, uh, June 6, 1989. It's a small town in Northwest Illinois. Uh, most commonly, um, people think I'm from Galena and I, for the longest time said, yep, I'm from Chicago for a while, Galena and everything in between, uh, just trying to get away from the conversation about a small little town in, in Northwest Illinois. So, um, growing up, uh, I've got some pictures of my family and I, um, I've got, uh, my father, Michael, um, uh, mom, Cheryl, I've got my sister, Jenny, who is two years older than me. Um, and in that middle photo, you can see my beautiful wife who we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, and then my brother-in-law, Brandon, and my sister and his niece and nephew, or I guess my niece and nephew, uh, Evie and Jack. Uh, so growing up uh, in a small town really didn't have a lot to do. And uh, it's kind of a common trend for probably a lot of people in Iowa who didn't grow up in the Metro. So I, I basically played a lot of sports uh, and began working construction at a pretty young age. Uh, my dad owns a construction company, um, just a small little uh, shop between him and his uncle, so or him and my uncle. So I uh, hang, hung sheetrock, uh, swung hammers, worked for different HVAC con uh, contractors, did landscaping, uh, really formed pretty much what I've ended up being today. Uh, and so after, after school, I kind of took those thoughts, mentalities, and uh, went to Iowa State. I uh, wanted to get away, uh, and getting away apparently was four and a half hours away, not, not anything bigger than that. That was as much as I could handle. Um, and I, I enjoyed a, a nice four years and, and then some with a nice victory lap as well to get my civil engineering degree. Um, I'll, I, I, this is probably going to kill all the marketing people in here, but I'm just a photos and talk kind of guy. So I, I'll, sh I'll spare you guys the photos from college. Um, probably not the most professional things. Uh, so instead, we'll, we'll, we'll just jump right into uh, to post-college. Basically, what I had done, um, I, I had a cup of coffee, for lack of a better term, in Houston. I uh, decided that uh, this this Ames jaunt that I had made was maybe uh, as, as big as I needed to be for the short term and came back to the Midwest, uh, ultimately ended up at Vinco in uh, Minneapolis, where I, uh, I worked on uh, all sorts of cell towers and um, managed different projects across Minnesota and uh, Wisconsin. Um, so if you've ever been in the Mall of America, uh, there's a good chance that I've helped you get cell service in there. Um, the next step was uh, moving back after my uh, now wife and I decided we were, we were going to get serious about things. So I moved back to Iowa and uh, started working for Story Construction. Uh, worked there for about three or four years uh, before ultimately moving on to where I'm at now, uh, Shive Hattery in 2016. I'm a civil engineer at Shive Hattery. Uh, we're a, a full service architecture engineering firm and um, we, we spread across uh, 11 offices across about five or six states here in the Midwest. Um, I'm in charge of uh, sports, horizontal sports, which would be turfs, tracks, courts, um, anything like that, uh, pretty much for all of our offices and um, then a variety of other things from a site development standpoint. And here's a couple recent projects. Um, I, uh, I unfortunately don't have any cool photos. We just finished up, uh, we're on year three and just finished up design on year four uh, of, for the city of West Des Moines parks and rec. And so we're, we've been uh, very fortunate to be able to work with them and uh, recently did Crossroads Park here on 50th and Ashworth for some tennis courts and, and other park improvements. Uh, so here's, uh, here's now, here's where I'm at today. Um, my wife and I, uh, my beautiful wife and I got married August 2019, I believe. I should know that. August 2019. Um, and we've lived in Beaverdale since uh, August 2015. Uh, we we enjoy going to Iowa State sports. Um, we go up there. Her, her parents are season tickets. I've been fortunate enough to marry into a, an Iowa State family who appreciates sports as much as I do. Um, here's a, a picture of us. Uh, she she uh, got us a present to go skydiving. So that was, um, I believe it's a world record for uh, profanities in, in one setting. Uh, and there is a video of it, and I refuse to pull it out. Um, and then our, our other, one of our other passions uh, is this uh, beautiful white dog on the right side that looks ridiculous. Uh, so I had to show you a picture of her with her tongue out. That is every day, and that is what she looks like constantly. Um, she's 11 years old, rescue, uh, and she's been uh, awesome for us. And uh, I was never a small dog guy until I got this one, and now I'm, I'm sold. So uh, and the last photo would be a picture of our basement. So we took on a COVID project to completely refinish and uh, redo our basement. Uh, so this is a, a small little space that my wife allowed me to have to uh, store all my whiskey and, and uh, other problems that I have. Uh, and then the last thing, and I, I hope Aaron's on here, um, 
Aaron, I, I hope uh, my kid can be friends with your kid. Uh, my wife and I are happy to announce uh, November 2021. So that's my time to shine.